All right, everybody. Well, this was going to start out as a quick little thing on uh, the adapters that I'm actually really liking uh, from this little build. So, like this one right here that I just got, which is a thing I did not know existed. But this particular one, the case that I bought, has two front USB Type-C ports. But I did not find out until I was assembling it that the motherboard only had one uh, port for the USB 3.1, 3.2 ports. So what this does is this converts that front panel for a USB 3.1, 3.2 to a 3.0. Now, that does mean that you will be limited to 3.0 speeds, but that means I will have two Type-C ports that are active on the front as opposed to having one that's running full speed and one doesn't run at all. Now I have one that runs at full speed and one that runs basically at half speed. Anyway, aside from that, the part of that that was supposed to be easy was... So what we got here... Um, well, these are my other adapters that I got. So you'll notice... The ones for the video card power and one down here that I got for the motherboard power supply. That's a uh, 90 degree for the 24 pin. Those are uh, doing great actually. They're keeping my cable management a little in order. My problem was my front USB 3 port there, which is where I had the cable plugged in at. Due to the shape of the adapter I've got over there, I need to plug it into this one so that the port for the Type-C cable faces up. So I needed to move that cable to this port over here. And I don't know if you can see it at the moment, but somehow or another, with a square hole that only goes in one way because it's got a key on it, I somehow managed to bend the pin. And what that brings me to is... Now, I have to unbend that pin so that I can plug that cable in and hopefully have all my USB ports available and not have screwed up my USB 3 ports. So, wish me luck. All right, well, as usual, I've screwed that up. So, let's take a look at this. All right, so let's take a quick peek here. And if you can see... The port right there, I have done exactly what I didn't want to do. I have managed to snap off the number 10 pin. And unfortunately, I'm not bowling, so that's not a good thing. Now, at least according to the manual here, I believe it says that the number 10 pin there is in C. So I'm hoping that means there's no connection on that pin. I'm going to have to look that up, but at the moment, that's my only hope that I haven't screwed that up beyond all recognition. Here's hoping for me. All right, so um, I have gotten the broken pen out, and I've redone my cables. A little bit of research says that if the pen says it's in C, it should be not connected, so it should not be a problem. So I've got the machine logged in, I've got a USB drive, and I've got a regular USB type A to type C converter. So, which way does that go? That goes that way. First off, let's test my USB C ports. All right, hey, that one recognizes. So, let's move to the other one. All right, that one shows up. That's good. That means both of my USB ports are at least recognizing as drives. I don't know which one is the full speed port. I'll have to do a speed test on them later. Now, let's see if my USB 3 ports here work or if I have screwed myself. Hey! All right. That one shows up. That's good. Let's see if the other channel works. Woohoo! That one shows up too. So apparently I got extremely lucky and that pin was not necessary. Either that or the whole thing is going to burst into fire later. I'm not sure which, but I'll let you know. Greetings everybody. This is going to be the end of this video, but it is midnight local time 
on the 25th, or I guess technically now it's the 26th early morning. And I just wanted y'all to see what is on my screen right now. So hopefully this is focusing in correctly, but that is an order for a Ryzen 9 3950X. Oh yes, the new PC is going to be a beast. Anyway, I will wish y'all a good night because I'm going to go to bed and get some sleep. See y'all next time.